Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I'd like to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks, and we also talk about personal finance. We also talk about passive income through dividend stocks. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get my frequent updates. Well, today we're going to cover the top stocks and uh, the stock market rally today. Uh, we did have Apple. Apple leading the way. We had Tesla up 5.46%. And like I said, Apple was leading the way. Uh, they had a fantastic earnings call yesterday. So uh, Apple was up 4.62% on the news. Uh, also, Ford did rally. And SoFi did rally today as well. Uh, also, the regional banks did come back today. PacWest and several other regional banks did so let's take a quick look at the Robinhood. Here we are in the Robinhood portfolio, and we're up 3% in the Robinhood uh, stock portfolio. Uh, gains over 50 something dollars. Um, like I said, we had Tesla, we had Apple, uh, Apple being up 4.8. Five three percent on the day. Uh, Apple did have a great talk yesterday on their earnings call. Uh, Mr. Tim Cook talked about opening the Apple Store in India and several other positive uh, things on the earnings call. So Apple continued to thrive today, up four point seven two percent. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, the banks did rebound. PacWest shares rallied up today over 81%. Uh, also, I believe Jerome Powell said we were headed for a soft landing. So that was good news for the bank. So we had PacWest. And I want to say KeyBank uh, rallied back today. KeyBank uh, rallied back today on the positive news up 10%. And also, I want to say... America uh, Bank as well. All regional banks rally back today. Uh, Comerica Bank too, up over 16%. So positive day in the market, not only Apple, but tech stocks. So uh, that was the news of the day. And Tesla got into action as well. And let's take a quick look at the other portfolio. Okay, we're in the other portfolio. And as I mentioned, we're up just about the same 3.45% for a gain of $1,100. Uh, Tesla did lead the way as far as cash gains, up 422. Uh, Apple in second place for $75. And Ford in third place for uh, seventy-three dollars. AMD also battling back this week as low as eighty dollars per share, but they did announce that they were getting help from Microsoft. So the stock did rebound late yesterday, over six percent, and today AMD um gained three point six eight percent. Also, as I mentioned, some of the banks did gain gain ground back today. SoFi Technologies was back up today, 4.80%. Also, uh, Regis Financial, Regis Financial, uh, a Southeastern Bank, was back up today, over 5%. And also, we did see uh, Visa and a few other ones. Uh, One Main Financial, which is a financial company, uh, they do personal loans, was back up today, 4.34%. Now, let's see what the losers were today really quickly. Okay, the losers were uh, Square or Block was down today, 1.95%. Of course, the shorts the shorts lost today. Shorts were uh, down 6%, and the VIX cooled off as well. Uh, so the short on the VIX uh, was down 10%. Uh, pretty much a good stock market today. Everything was in the green, it looks like, except Lock, which was down 1.95%. They had a decent earnings yesterday, 
but they're still having questions about active users and some of the de details that was communicated in the Hindenburg report. Uh, not much there, but again, the top stock of the day between Apple and Tesla. Tesla up 5.45% and Apple up 4.44%. So those were the gains over $1,100 in this one portfolio and 54 here in the Robin Hood. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and we'll see you on the next video.